Hey everybody, this is Jack Acid bringing you a Forza commentary video, a first for me, well with the exception of my Porsche DLC review, and I've been doing as many Porsche gameplay videos as I can and somehow got the bright idea, hey I know, why don't I take out the 2008 16 Dyson RS Spider Evo out in the Nürburgring Nordschleife, because that's such a smart thing to do. Some people might even go as far as calling it suicide. Uh, as you can see here I'm racing with no assists on medium AI. Then I thought, you know what, I've actually never taken a car out uh, of this class on the Nordschleife, so eh, why not? We'll just call it the Suicide Run. Eh, it doesn't really matter, I hadn't actually gotten any game capture of this car anyway, so it needs to be done. So already up to third gear here, a little skippy to start, and it looks like we've got a yellow Spider Evo next to us, and oh, interesting, a little bit of slowdown there. Someone must have slowed down near the front, usually you can go flat out through here. And you can see the other Evo slowing down and letting me by, getting me up to P11. I got him well clear. And already up to 6 gear, this thing is cooking. And I have no idea what to expect on the corners here. Wow, this thing, a very impressive grip. I guess I shouldn't be surprised given the class. Very close call there. Able to swing around and ride the curb. But I'm going to have to let him go by as we come up here into what I call Cone Corner. A very, very tricky corner that seems to kind of come out of nowhere. I did hear some uh, collision noise there, but I'm 99% sure that I was not involved. We'll have to check the replay on that. So now dropping it into second gear. Man, this thing has got some serious zip. And now chasing the uh, P6 car. And very, very tricky to get around the AI. Hard to overtake through here. They're very, very slow. Going to have to be patient. Uh, this is an epic track, uh, as anyone who's played this game or is raised here knows, this is a 13 miler, 13 plus. Uh, very, very difficult, very narrow, uh, hard to overtake in places, and you can see there the uh, car in front of me almost takes me off as I get a little aggressive trying to get around him, uh, just as I'm talking about being patient, but you know, it looked like I had a gap, and here we go as we swing around, and yes, able to stay ahead of him just before this long straight, so that's good. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of top speed this car has, so I don't want to take any chances and uh, be behind people on the straightaways if I can help it. So now we'll see if we can catch the uh, P4 car here on this little bend, and no, not able to get around him, and I had to slow down dramatically, and you can see now he's just absolutely taking off, and this is exactly what I was just talking about. If you're not able to get around a car right before one of these long straights, uh, they are absolutely long gone, so of course I've got plenty of time, I'm not too worried about it. Now let's see if this car, see the car behind me is gaining steam on me, he now backs off and oh man, able to take that blind summit 135 plus, something like that, that's impressive. And this corner is very easy to go wide on, but man this thing just does not care at all. And not able to get around there, start to go off a little bit, gonna have to fall back and uh, just keep filling up his mirrors until I can get an opportunity to pass here. We've got some straighter parts of the track and able to hit six gear climbing the hill and now you can see the AI slows down dramatically. Oh there's the contact. I, I'm sure that I could have gotten over that corner a lot quicker if they weren't in front of me but uh, of course always doing my best to not cause damage and man they really slow AI through there. Now I'm just getting frustrated. You can see I got a little bit of wheel spin there able to punch it back down and see if I can get him start to go off. You can tell that I'm feeling very uh, frustrated, uh, feeling aggressive, but I have to kind of keep my cool. Got a long race to go here, probably not even halfway done. But I really want to get by this guy, able to shoot ahead of him there and break in time to not hit the car in front of me and see if I can get around and, yes, able to get up to a podium position, so up to P3. And so, uh, meanwhile, as this is all going on, the uh, leaders were starting to build a gap, but the good news is, is I can still see them, so it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, my biggest concern at this point is just keeping it on the rails. Uh, I was actually concerned that a car of this class would be difficult to race here, but uh, actually it's quite the opposite. It's uh, an absolute dream so far. This corner here is really, really easy to go wide on, but the... Uh, responsiveness of the car is just absolutely amazing and you can see I go a little too fast there and drag a couple wheels onto the lawn and gonna have to remain back into P3 for the time being and now we're approaching the halfway point and boy able to just glide right around there uh, might be able to make a move here no I can't oh I make contact that was really ugly I'm gonna go ahead and let him by that was no good uh, basically thought better of that overtake but it was too late and slid across the track and make contact so I'm gonna let him by because I'm ultimately not that worried about him. 
Yeah, I always try and race as clean as possible, try and be courteous. If I uh, overtake in an ugly fashion, I'll typically let the car back by. Unless, of course, it's at the very end, then I'm going to keep it. Sorry. A little bit of wheel spin there. Coming around that corner just a little too fast. It's actually really, really hard to find the edges of the uh, grip of this car just because it's stuck to the road. You can see I'm just absolutely screaming around these little bends here. I might even be able to get it up to sixth gear. Let's see if... Whoa! Very, very close with the position two car. I don't know how fast I was going around him, but all I know is that he was feeling the wind, whatever it was, and up to second place. So that was pretty much a blind luck pass. I was not anticipating him slowing down to that kind of degree. And so now chasing the leader, drop it into fourth gear, going a little too slow around that bend, being cautious. You can see I've got a number of corners up ahead of me, so I don't want to do anything too stupid. And now we'll see if we can catch the leader around here. Definitely do not want to take us both off at this stage in the game. Just over the five minute mark. Doing pretty well so far. So surprisingly, at least better than I thought. Now coming up to the famous carousel corner. Very, very famous hairpin. And you can see I'm not going to be very aggressive getting around here. I know that I've got time. And he should... Ooh, a little bit of curb hop there. That was an interesting action sequence. Um, you can see that his pace is significantly slower than mine, so now that I have gone around the hairpin, I would like to... Oh, you can see I almost go off there, uh, starting to feel a little too impatient. And as soon as I hit the hairpin, I get nervous about the end of the track, so I would like to get by this guy. Oh, more contact there. Boy, that's really, really frustrating. Um, this guy's pace is uh, obviously a problem at this point and having to brake frequently and meanwhile a uh, car behind me is staying right with us and gonna have to navigate through you can see I've got some reasonably long S sweeps coming up and trying to find a gap and right when I see one of course it's just a little too late and wheel to wheel and slight contact but there we go finally able to get around him now it's just a matter of keeping it between the candy stripes and once I can build up a gap, if I'm able to build a gap, which I assume I will be able to do, uh, I can start being uh, a little uh, more conservative. But, you know, I kind of want to stretch my legs out a little bit, kind of see what this thing can really do. Oh, and you can see that's probably not such a good idea as I uh, scare away the gophers going off there. But I am feeling comfortable enough with the performance of the car that I think I'm going to have to come back and do a hot lap here. Ooh, there's that little jump that I always forget about. Uh, see if maybe I could set a time and see what kind of uh, lap times we can get out of this thing. Uh, I don't pay a whole lot of attention to lap times generally, at least not in Forza, uh, but it still would be kind of an interesting test given the speed of this thing. But I'd like to see what this car can do when not being held up by slower AI. You can see that I've already built up over a five second gap on the cars behind me. So I'm going to just go ahead and take it nice and easy until I get to the end. And as it turns out, I was basically spooking myself. I had plenty of chances to pass that guy. In fact, I totally forgot about this corner. And now we're going to sweep around here. And getting pretty close to the long straightaway should have no problems once we get around this corner. And once we level out up here, it should be cruise control to the finish line down this long straight and wow I'm just very very impressed with the performance of this car I'm gonna have to consider taking out some other R-Class cars on the Nürburgring and uh, see what they can do and while we're on the long straight let's have a look and see what the top speed of this thing actually is since we never really have a chance to see during the uh, majority of the track and looks like we're gonna cap out at 183 so there you have it just when I think I've had the most fun with a Porsche car, they continue to outdo themselves. Going to leave you guys here with an epic long highlight. Uh, not quite the full length of the race, but close to it. I'm uh, going to take you through the entire track uh, up until I get ahead, and then we'll go ahead and skip to the end. So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you guys for watching. If you have any interest, I have many, many more Forza Motorsport 4 videos posted on my channel, as well as a... Uh, commentary F1 2011 series if you have any interest in that and if you guys have any specific requests for uh, certain cars or tracks feel free to drop me a comment or drop me a line and I will see to it I'm actually thinking about starting a uh, Forza 4 commentary series so I'll have to put some more thought into that but until then thanks again everybody and I'll see you next time